Hello, this is the pocket sequencer. It is a tiny MIDI keyboard and sequencer. I'm going to show how to make generative music on it. First, I'm going to choose a scale that is pretty, like this one. And in generative mode, I am going to use signals to make the music. Signals are like arpeggios, but uh, they can uh, be used as input to the parameters of each other. This is a signal, signal number one. It is a triangle. You can change the width. And the height. And all signals have width, height, and a transpose, which is the baseline of the signal. Uh, and that means uh, what note uh, the value of zero will be. So in this case, a transpose of zero is middle C, this one. But if we increase the transpose, it will raise or lower the entire sequence. So this signal has type triangle. There are many types. Sawtooth and triangle, square, pulse, random height, which is um, completely random and the width parameter is the number of repetitions so a width of one will be another random value uh, every note and um, you can set the target to note or nothing. Uh, if it's nothing, then uh, it uh, doesn't do anything, but uh, you can use it as um, a parameter for other signals. And if you have a polyphonic synth, you can use multiple signals as output. Here is a square wave type. I will set the target to note and the transpose a little bit up so we can hear it compared to signal one. So now we have two signals that can be played at the same time. Let's turn up this signal here and use it as a parameter for signal one. If I change the type to sawtooth and use a sensible width and height, then I can set the transpose, transpose value below zero and then I can choose signal two. And then the signal will be transposed according to signal two. So this is signal two, and this is signal one with the transpose. If I change signal two, it will affect signal one. parameters except uh, type uh, can be other signals so if I change this back to zero and then use another signal as height 
go. Then, of course, it will be height zero most of the time. So I will go back to signal two and elevate it a bit up. Here we go. So this way you can make uh, a lot of interesting patterns and generative music. And you have up to eight singles currently, which can be combined in any way. Thank you.